Kimberly Shao and I'm service manager for post approval fostering and kinship service. We've been through a period of transformation across fostering and kinship over the last two years and what that has done it's aligned fostering and kinship more closely together. Previously the fostering teams and the kinship teams sat a bit further apart but the new model we have our fostering hub followed by pre-approval where all of our assessment work is completed and post-approval where all our support elements are sitting and the fostering and kinship support and assessments sit next to each other. That gives us a better alignment across those teams and those aspects but also for our social workers it really allows them to have more breadth across their work, they can have more range in their work, upskilling, learning different aspects in different areas which for me I think that really gives a better experience in the role, more interest in the work you're doing. It also means that you get to become an expert in lots of different fields rather than just really pigeonholing yourself into to one part, one specific social work function. All of our carers are supported by highly trained social workers. To do that, we're really investing in our social workers. We know that having social workers who are happy, feel valued, are cared for, heard and listened to, that will be replicated for our carers. Having social workers who remain in post, so there's less movement across those social workers for our carers. It gives our carers that consistency of building that relationship with their social worker. We're keen on building a, a network between our social workers and our carers. And to do that, we think really creatively about how we're going to build those relationships. We bring in things such as fostering walks where our carers and social workers and team managers get together regularly and we'll, we'll do a walk somewhere in the community, have a cup of coffee, getting us outside and sort of having those conversations which just aren't sitting down talking business. By doing that with our carers, strengthening our carers, being able to provide supervision to them from a really therapeutic base means that they'll be able to provide that better care for the children that they're caring for they'll feel more supported and valued as carers and that will come through in the care that they're able to provide to our young people.